Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chakesha Sims of Her Lovely Plan and I am here today with a review video. Today I'm doing my first official review um, and I know if y'all have seen this throughout the planner community, a couple of my other fellow planner babes, YouTubers have done reviews on this words worth planner. Um, they reached out to me and I decided why not? I mean, I'm a planner girl. I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator and my job, the role that I have accepted is to put out information out there to you guys so you can know what your options are. Um, before I go into this actual plan, I've already opened it um, because I showed it to my husband because I'm going to actually give it to him. But I want to say this. When you watch our videos, well, let me run it. When you watch my videos, my intentions are not to make you buy all the things. I joke and laugh about it. But it's just so you can have information to see what's out there. Because just like I live my life outside of this I always want to be an example so people know what their options are. When they look at the things that I do and I have done, they're able to be able to make better decisions because they have knowledge and information. One thing everyone knows about me, I'm a woman of God. And the word says that our people perish for lack of knowledge. And that is also in this planet community. We not necessarily perish, but we get our bank accounts into financial binds because we're running all around trying to buy all of the things before we actually do the research then we buy the things and then we realize those things do not work that's why there are people like myself and all these other amazing youtubers um, which are considered influencers or content creators we're out here so you can do the research to find out what works best for you so you won't be buying all the things so we buy all the things just so we can be a help and then sometimes people reach out to us because they see that we are influencers and they want us to put their product out there so people can know that they have other options available so with that being said my whole long drawn out speech let's get straight into this words worth planner Okay, like I said, I already opened the planner. Um, it comes already wrapped in plastic, so it's not uncovered. But they give you this nice little um, letter to kind of help you on your journey. And I like that because it kind of gives you the basic instructions that you need. So I'm just going to read this real quick. It says, Dear Goal Setter, Thank you for purchasing the Words, words Worth Planner. We truly want to see you grow and become your best self. This planner is a holistic personal development system that you can carry with you all the time, combining powerful growth science with easy to complete prompts that put you on the path to discovering your personal potential. It is not just a planner. It's a coach. It's a guide and it's a tool to live in your best life. So I like this because it tells you straight off the back it's not just a planner. So this planner is definitely for the person that has, uh, that's a goal setter that likes to be able to have guided prompts to help them through their goal setting, as well as to allow them to add planner, um, to be able to plan in it as well. And then it has some other things in here that talks about building your best self begins today. I'm not going to read all of it. It tells you the perks. Um, and it'll also give you what their promise is to you as the consumer or the buyer. Um, so it is non-dated. So that's a great thing because if you decide that this planner is for you and you like it, um, you can start anytime. So it has this on here and it basically says it's a monthly and a weekly horizontal. Uh -oh. I'm over here tearing up the things. All right, so we're gonna open this baby up and it comes with three um, bookmarks and I've already um, went ahead and separated it, the sections, um, because like I said, this is a very structured planner. Um, 
And for those of you, like I said, that are um, wanting to goal set but just don't know how to do it effectively um, or basically you've never goal set it before and you need some type of um, format, this planner is perfect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it and look at some of the basic stuff that's in here. Uh, you start out with just um, in case this is lost and if you want to give a reward to someone. And then you have how to use it. Again, this is a very structured planner because it, it is specifically geared to the goal setter um, in mind. So even if you know how to goal set, this is still a very good planner. It's not just for um, beginners. It's for beginners. It's for season um, goal setters. It's even just for just basic planners that don't even really goal set. But this goes to show you the different way of using this planner. Um, and then this has like a little travel section. So if you're planning any traveling, because traveling is a goal as well. And you can put your date that you want to go and the destination, your itinerary and whatever notes um, pertaining to the trip. And then you have the map that has the different time zones, which is perfect. I need to screenshot this for Shay because her and I always struggle because when we do our meetings um, with some of our um, planner babes for this Planning to Better Me conference, they're Pacific time. And we're always like, so what time is it our time? <laughs> so I need to make us a copy of this. Uh, so anyway, then you have this um, blank page where you can do your goal mind map. You can use it however you want to, but as I stated, they do tell you how to um, mind map, which is kind of like brainstorming. So this is going to be um, where you can use for your vision board. And whether you want pictures or you want to write your vision, do um, stickers, you can put whatever here to inspire you to reach your vision and your goals. So then we go into the main section of this part, which is where you actually go and put your goals. And this is what I really like. I like that it gives you a target date, a purpose, and an action. Those are the three most, well, actually these two are the most important parts to go along with your goal. Um, because you can set a goal, um, but if you don't know the purpose behind your goal and you don't know how to reach your goal, it really ain't a goal. It's just something you want to do. So it has here, you can write what your goal is. So you can say to lose weight, your target date. And then you put the purpose for health reasons or just to feel better. And then you put what you need to do to lose your weight. This is your personal section for this. Then you have your family, friendship, and relationships. Um, so whatever personal goal, like you can have goals to have more family dinners. How are you going to do that? You know, the target date you want to start doing it whatever the case may be, even with friends, you want to hang out with friends more, even if you want to call your friends more and then relationships, um, that can be marriage. That can be your faith relationship. Um, whatever you just define as a relationship, you can put in these goals. So you get eight different, um, sections in each, um, part. Then the last one is your professional, which is very important. A lot of us just work a job to work a job and, we should be achieving to have a career versus having a job because you most of the time if you have a job, you don't like it. You hate getting up. But when you have a career, even if you have those challenging days, it's worth working because that's something that you desire to do. So you can put what your target date is to reach certain goals um, to either get out of that job to get into a professional job. Or if you have a business that you want to start, write your goals. What's the purpose of starting that business and what your action plans will be? And then that is it. And we go into the monthly. And I like that it has quotes on each one. Um, did this one have a quote? I think it did. And I just bypassed it. Let's check. Let's check. I know. I thought I saw something that said something. Some, something. Here you go. Be stubborn about your goals and flexible about your methods. And I think that is a very good, 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 good <laughs> quote because a lot of times we're more flexible about reaching our goals and we are hard pressed to stay on how we're going to reach them. But that don't work all the time. You want to make your goal be locked in in cement like your goal is your goal and always gonna change is if God say change your goal 
but you want to be flexible how you reach it because sometimes you might not be able to reach it just by you know doing research you might got to get a mentor and you might be like, I don't want nobody helping me. But sometimes you need to have a mentor. So you have to be real willing to be flexible about your methods. So then on the monthly, it says when you're when you prioritize, all the important stuff gets done. And that is true um, because a lot of times I fall short in meeting my daily to day things because I just put them all out there. But now that I'm starting to put what do I need to do first? I even have a whiteboard along with my planner so I can always see what I need to do first. So with this monthly view. Um, it, again, it's a goal setting planner. So you're going to have, um, what your monthly goal is, and that's going to be the same way as your, um, first part and what your first part is broken down to really kind of represent the multiple months in the year. Um, but this is your personal family, friends, relationship and personal, and then you can write any notes and then you go into your actual month. And in here, what I would recommend if you use it, use this also for your everyday things, appointments and meetings and things. But if you have target dates, put your target dates in here to remind you also in your monthly section that you have a target date that's coming up. What have you been doing to meet your goal? Have you been fulfilling those action plans? Um, and then you have your monthly reflections and then you have your review with your top five things you accomplished. Um, and things of that nature and then what you're planning for next month and it just repeats itself every month and again it's undated so I love that it's undated so then you have your weekly view in which I have separated with one of the three bookmarks don't call it a dream call it a plan I love that quote so this is where you put your weekly things um, and I like this because again you can tie in your goals as well as your personal things and for my planners that like to decorate you definitely can still decorate um, for me if I was to use this planner I would probably use more icon stickers and script stickers um, just because this is a very classic clean type of spread and I feel like doing too much deco would just kind of be like ooh um, but Nevertheless, I like it because it says your priorities and then your secondary um, to do list. And I like that because, you know, what is has to be done on that day and what can be done or pushed to your next day as a priority or what have you. And then you have your notes section. So this goes on and on and on for multiple weeks. And then your last section is your dot grid, which is perfect because you can put anything on here. You can do more brain dumping. You can write more goals. You can write more to-do lists, whatever you need to do, you can do in this section. And then the extra bonus that I didn't realize when I first opened it, looking through with my husband, you have this like pocket back here. It's like accordion style. And it actually came with these stickers, which are so, so functional. Um, you have deadlines, I'm grateful, um, arrows, stars, little checklist and vacation workout so these can be used in your weekly or even in your monthly um, because of the size fits in here um, and like I said you can store them they were actually stored in here so you can store your stickers in here if you use stickers any extra papers or you know how sometimes you might write a note and you don't have your planner ready you write a little note and you just want to stick it in here to remind you you can put that in here afterwards then you have your pen loop and then you have the elastic to keep it closed. And I like that because, you know, you might add some extra pages in here and it might get a little chunky. Um, and you do have the extra room because this is a very soft back binding. I don't know if you can see me pushing on it. So it allows you to kind of open this up. Ooh, that was loud. And bend it a little bit. You can't bend it all the way over like a spiral, but it is definitely flexible. So this is a really nice planner. Um, I would definitely um, recommend this for the goal setter that is a diehard goal setter, a newbie that wants to be more intentional about setting goals. Um, this is a great gift for coworkers, especially your husbands. You know, a lot of us planner girls want to get our husbands into planning and this is perfect. They do come in other colors, but my husband likes black. So I got this one for him in black and who knows he might add a sticker or two. Um, he said that he might do a video. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll keep y'all up to date on that one. So I will leave the link to the website so you can order this, um, this, uh, 
planner. Um, I don't have a discount code or anything, um, but if you drop my name in the comments part of your, um, when you check out and say her lovely plan referred me, they might do something. I don't know. But don't quote me on that because ain't nobody gave me no discount code. <laughs> but I love putting out new information because there are so many planners out there for us to choose from. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to use a specific planner because I use it because I'm not going to use this planner. But my husband's going to use it. So we're going to see how that go. So if you like this video and if you want to see me do more reviews, let me know. Drop me a comment below because this was kind of fun. Um just to give my point of view on this planner. So again, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a live Sunday stream or my new videos. And as well, make sure you um, drop me a comment because I love comments and I love reading them. Even if I don't respond, I love giving you a thumbs up and a heart because y'all are my peeps. So again, Check this out. Go to the website. See what you like. Um, see what's on there for you. And if you get one, let me know what you think. Tag me in your Instagram pictures or Facebook posts um, if you get one. And let me see how you're planning in your words were planner. Okay, you guys. Until next time. Peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan. And I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.